Okay, in this lesson um, 4.3, I'm actually breaking 4.3 up into two lessons, um, so 4.3i. Um, we're going to look at our two special right triangles, which is something that you went over uh, in geometry, first saw in geometry, but it's been a while, so we'll kind of reteach it. Uh, we'll go over our two special triangles um, and then how they fit into the unit circle, and then we'll spend kind of the most of our time then uh, in the next couple of lessons um, dealing with the unit circle and what it is and its values and kind of how important it is um, kind of going forward in this course. Okay, the first of our two special triangles is the 45-45-90 right triangle. And in a 45-45, uh, in a 45-45-90 right triangle, uh, the sides are in the ratio 1, 1, 1 times square root of 2. In other words, Pythagorean's theorem would tell you that um, you know, Pythagorean's theorem would tell you that 1 squared plus 1 squared equals um, what would end up being just square root of 2 squared. Of course, this side becomes 2, this side becomes 2, so sure enough, um, those three sides check out. They work in Pythagorean's theorem. But other uh, examples, other forms of this would work too. So, for example, if the legs were both 3, the hypotenuse would be 3 square root of 2. Or if the legs were both 11, the hypotenuse would be 11 square root of 2. Now, so memorizing this relationship here, this 1, 1, 1 square root of 2 relationship, uh, just kind of speeds up and um, kind of negates the need to use Pythagorean's theorem to solve for sides of a right triangle if you recognize it's 45, 45, 90. Just kind of speeds it up. Um, so what are all six trig function values? That's kind of what we're after. All six trig function values for, um, for theta, specifically if theta is 45 degrees. So we want sine of 45, cosine 45, and tan of 45, and then their reciprocals, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Okay, um, so this is what we're after. Let's kind of do some scratch work down beneath here. Uh, so first of all, let's pick one of the 45 degree angles. Say we pick this one. Um, that makes this the opposite, makes this the adjacent, this is the hypotenuse. Um, so the sine of 45 would be the opposite. I'm going to do all the scratch work down here. Um, sine of 45 would be the opposite 1 divided by the hypotenuse square root of 2. We'd want to bring that radical up to the top, so we'd end up with square root of 2 over 2. So that is the sine of 45, square root of 2 over 2. Now, since cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the adjacent is 1, just like the opposite, this fraction also represents the cosine, and so would its rationalized form. So cosine of 45 is also square root of 2 over 2. Tangent of 45 is opposite over adjacent. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Now the cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Now you could reciprocal this fraction or we could reciprocal the fraction down here before we rationalized. Square root of 2 over 1 is just square root of 2. That's the cosecant of 45. Now since cosine is the same as sine, secant is the same as cosecant, it's also square root of 2, and cotangent is the reciprocal of 1, which is still 1. Those are your six trig function values for 45 degrees. Uh, and it would be best to memorize these. If not memorize them, be able to produce them real fast.
okay? Um, but you'll probably use them enough that you will more than likely memorize them whether you want to or not, to be quite honest. Okay, the other of our special triangles is what we call the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. The acute angles are 30 degrees and 60 degrees, respectively. The other angles, of course, 90 to make it a right triangle. Um, and a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Uh, the sides are in this relationship. There are 1, 1 square root of 3, and two. Um, and uh, again, Pythagorean's theorem checks this really quick. If I did uh, one squared plus square root of three squared, um, does it equal two squared? This is one, this is three, which is four. Four equals four, so sure enough, it checks out just fine. Um, but we can then build like any other types of examples with this. Say, we knew that the short side was 7. Uh, we could infer from that then that the long leg is 7 square root of 3, and that the hypotenuse, notice the hypotenuse is just double the short leg. So the hypotenuse would be then 14. You know, or if you were told that the long leg was 9 square root of 3, you'd know that the short leg is 9 and the hypotenuse is double the 9 is 18. You know, without having to do Pythagorean's theorem, if we just know this, again, relationship among the sides, it just speeds up the work. Again, quite dramatically speeds it up. So we want to know then, um, for this particular um, slide, what is the sine of 30 degrees, cosine of 30, and the tangent of 30, and then likewise their reciprocals. So this is what we're after. Um, now we are talking uh, the 30 degree angle here. So for the 30 degree angle right here that makes the one the opposite, square root of three is the adjacent, the two is the hypotenuse, Sine, I'll do again, do any scratch work I need down below here. Uh, sine of 30 degrees would be opposite over hypotenuse. So a half. Cosecant is the reciprocal of a half, which is two. Okay, piece of cake there. Cosine of 30, adjacent over hypotenuse. Square root of three over two. Uh, secant is the reciprocal of that. This one's gonna, if I reciprocate that fraction, we get two over the square root of three, which has a radical that needs to be brought up. So I times by square root of three to top and bottom, and we would end up with two square root of three over three. Uh, for the tangent of 30, it's opposite over adjacent. So one divided by square root of three, which we bring that radical up. I'll let you do the work if you want, but just to see it like that is helpful. So we bring the radical up and it is square root of three over three. Uh, cotangent is the reciprocal of this one. Um, if I reciprocal this one right here, or actually I prefer to reciprocate this form, we'd end up with just square root of three. There are your six trig function values for 30 degrees. And these again, oops, you'll probably want memorized. And just like the 45 degrees, whether you want to or not, you probably will ultimately memorize Next, those. We're going to stick with the same 30, 60, 90 triangle. Uh, I'll skip all the, the ratio background work here. Uh, but we're just going to shift focus. So now we're going to focus at 60 degrees. So we're going to look for the sine of 60, cosine of 60, and tan of 60, and then their reciprocals. Cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Okay, so this is what we want. 
And as you're already no doubt thinking, yes, he's going to want me to memorize these also. Um, okay, so we're looking at 60 degrees. Um, 60 degrees is up here, changes this one to opposite, this one to adjacent, this one is still the hypotenuse. Um, so if I'm looking for the sine of 60 degrees, it is now opposite over hypotenuse, it is now the square root of 3 over 2. Notice that's the exact same value, I'm not going to put the slide back, but that's the exact same value as the cosine of 30 from the last slide. Um, the reciprocal of this would be the same as the secant of 30 was. It's going to be 2 square root of 3 over 3. Uh, cosine of 60, adjacent over hypotenuse. That's an easy one. It's a half. Its reciprocal is 2. Um, yeah, so this was the cosine previously. This was the sine previously. They've just switched. Shouldn't be any surprise. We're switching angles, which in fact just switched opposite and adjacent labels. So um, these have just switched from what they were on the previous slide. Uh, the tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. Square root of 3 divided by 1 is just square root of 3. Um, the cotangent of 60 is the reciprocal of this one, which is work we did on the other slide, it's square root of 3 over 3. Um, and yes, I'll write it just for emphasis. You'll probably get these memorized as well.